Good morning, people, and welcome back to Carp Gurus. You join me here today in the car with the gear loaded, and you know what that means. We are going fishing. So, where are we going? Once again, we are going to Bradshaw Hall Fisheries for a day session, and on this occasion, my dad will be joining me. Stay tuned. been set up around an hour now and I thought I would show you more of the swim and the spots I'm actually fishing so there's the two rods if I move up as you can see really nice quiet day with a lot of water if I want to fish to the far margins I can open water near margins it's all there so I'd be very surprised if we didn't catch um, but yeah, as it stands at the moment, I've got two rods um, in the margins on my bank So I'm going to show you the spots and then you can see exactly where I'm fishing And then if I am successful um, and you do fish this late, you can imitate that and hopefully get the same results So the left hand rod is basically just here under this tree Really close in, under this tree and last year, my first fish of the year last year was uh, 20 from that very spot. So I've caught from there before and I'm confident in that spot. And then if I just pivot around the right hand rod, just a little bit further up here, I'll walk and show you. Like I said, hopefully you can uh, take advantage of these spots that I fish if you're struggling or you're unsure how to fish the lake and you can do the same and uh, catch some carp so yeah right hand rod is here just in the margin close by there's even activity there as i'm filming i don't know if you saw that but there was activity so yeah there are the spots we'll play it by ear we'll see how it goes but as you know i usually do well fishing this lake in the margins um, so yeah, I don't have any doubts. Conditions look good. Um, I'm using what I'm confident in and I see no reason why I shouldn't have a few fish today. Well, 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 it's update time once again. And as it stands right now, it's around half ten and there's nothing to report. Um, I was fishing two rods in the margins, as I said earlier. My dad is fishing solid bags uh, out into open water. And yeah, nothing's happened. Um, so I have changed it up a bit. Um, while I was fishing in the margins, um, there was two carp which topped um, out in the open water around 20 to 30 yards out. So what I did, I reeled in the margin rods. I put on two stiff hinge rigs with the bright white in-face pop-ups um, that I've got so much confidence in. And they've been cast um, in the area where those two carp showed. So we're leaving the margins for now. We may drop back on those margins later on. But for now, there's two rods out in the open water on the pop-ups and the stiff hinge rigs. Um, and my dad is still fishing on the solid bags um, out in the open water. So that's our current plans of attack. If anything changes, if there's anything worth letting you know, obviously I will let you know. Um, if the carp keep topping and I don't have any action, 
I will be having a go on the adjustable zig rigs because that is a very effective method. Um, and yeah, there's a few more people who've turned up on the lake, no one's catching. So I'm starting to think zigs may be the way to go because I'm confident that no one else will be using zigs and no one else is catching. So let's see, give it a few more hours and when there's something to update you with, as I've said, you'll be the first to know about it. go well it's update time I'm an hour around half 12 and in regard to myself nothing has happened however my dad did have a screaming run um, sadly he struck into it hooked it and then the hook pulled so great that we've had some action but obviously disappointed that he lost it but we all know in carp fishing these things happen um, I'm still on the stiff hinge rigs out in the open water where the carp are topping um, and I've also had a play around with um, an adjustable zig rig which I've caught a lot of carp on um, and I'm fishing that just under the surface where the carp are topping so whichever method works and pays off obviously I will let you guys know um, but yeah so far it's been quite challenging um, nothing's happening I'm not seeing anyone catch anything on the lake there's about four people on now altogether not seen anyone do anything um, so that's always uh, you know not the best sign especially on a you know lake that's quite notorious like this one can be thick and fast the action on here so yeah that's where we're at and um, yeah if there's anything to report I'll let you know but as it stands we are sitting it out it's nothing for me one lost fish for my dad and um, yeah staying positive keeping the faith in what we know works and hopefully we'll have a carpy update for you soon. Heavily glugged boilies. As I spoke about previously, I like to heavily glug my boilies to increase the attraction of the baits and increase the amount of carp that I can put on the bank. Here's a closer look at this bucket of carpy goodness. As you can see the glug is very very thick and all the boilies are coated with that glug which is very 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 attractive to carp if I grab a handful give you a closer look see that it's literally like slime but carp love it and as I've already said it will put more carp on the bank for you so give it a try finally a fish is on the mat after a challenging start to the session not the biggest not the prettiest but it's nice to hear those alarms screaming this fish was taken on my dad's dad's rods on a solid bag setup after seeing carp topping over his area so stay tuned and hopefully there'll be much more to come boom i've decided to give you an insight into how i set up my swim um, on a day session so as you can see there's two rods landing net nearby not halfway up the bank not stuck in a tree not lent against my bivy to look cool it's near the rods and ready to use okay 
as we move forward you can see my bait bucket there's a catapult on top of that there because once I cast out I'll use the rings on the water from where I've casted as a marker and then I'll literally catapult my boilies um, around where I've just cast so even if I'm doing light baiting heavy baiting it's something I use a lot I cast my rig out where it lands and the rings are created I use that as a marker and catapult over it it's very quick very effective and it's something I've used um, for a very long time so yeah feel free to give that a try as we come round I'll just take you through rod bag out the way there is spare rods in there I'm not expecting to need a spare rod but they are there if I need them this rod which is already out is set up with an adjustable zig rig so if I feel the fish in mid water or near the surface I can reel a rod in and instantly get an adjustable zig rig out where I'm seeing fish topping that is something I may do today but let's see so yeah that's the reason that rods out and as I said the spare rods are in the rod bag so that's that fairly self-explanatory really this big bag here holds a lot of things <coughs> excuse me so there is um, a spom in there there is spare indicators in there there is spare alarms there is leads there is my kettle there is my cooker um, and yeah that bag holds a lot and yeah it's very important for me this bag as you can see it's large and it really does help there's a spom in there there's all sorts in there all things i need and spares if i need them all right so yeah there's a tripod obviously you know what that's for the tripod is set up right near my chair so if i'm speaking to the camera i can use the tripod um, and if i'm using it for a cap obviously my cradle's there so we'll come to the cradle in a minute but coming back around here on top of here i have things to hand what i need so there's bait floss a lighter baiting needle scissors bait stops and the bright white in your face pop-up i don't need pop-ups should i say i don't need to keep those obviously near the bucket of bait which is near the rods because they're obviously only going to be for hook bait so i'm keeping those there ready to go there's a set of pliers there if i need to crush any barbs or anything like that or remove the swivels from leads at the back that's my food so i'm not going to bore you with what food i'm eating but yeah that's the food near the chair and out the way and then back to this cradle you'll see it's nice and wet so it's not bone dry okay it's nice and wet ready for the fish fish care is a priority as we all know bucket of water here if it was a boiling hot day would i pre-fill the bucket with water no because the water would heat up and wouldn't cool the fish down if need be but it's raining it's quite cold so the bucket is already filled with water ready for a catch and then last but not least i have the lid folded down so i can kneel there without hurting my knees while i'm hopefully holding a big cap so as you can see it's very organized it's nothing fancy it's all to hand there's my chair is it a top of the range fox chair no is it a chair that suits me on a day session and is comfy yes so there we go that's everything set up how i structure it for a day session i will show you how i structure it on a night session when that time comes but for now this is me checking out
here we are once again second fish for the dad uh, small fish but nice to hear the alarms running again the run on this was absolutely crazy absolutely ripped off so that's my dad on two fish and he's lost one and me on a big fat zero so well done dad and uh, yeah we're gonna get this fish back nothing has happened so I've made the effort and decided to move swim to a popular swim which is free um, and one that I've had good catches from in the past the tin lid was someone turning up opposite me and throwing around a marker float so I wasn't catching then and I was surely wasn't going to catch while someone's uh, throwing a marker float around me so yeah made the effort to move um, fishing in the margins I'll show you the spots and then uh, you know what I'm doing I'm fishing one rod on the usual leg clip setup with um, a braided uh, hair rig or braided hook length which is just a hair rig um, and then my other rod is um, a stiff hinge rig um, with a bright white in your face pop up so you know the score you know my two favorite approaches that's what I'm doing on each of the rods and uh, yeah I'll now show you the spots and hopefully I'll have something to report for you soon so spot number one I'm gonna get up out of chair there's one rod on the pod you'll understand why in a minute so there right at the edge of that bush with the pink flowers on I've had a lot of nice carp from there so that's rod number one and if I slowly walk up to this swim or this area of water should I say just to be clear there's no one all around here or probably wouldn't have moved um, so we've got a rod here and that's through over there to those margins on a single pop-up so yeah last few hours now let's see if we can winkle one out if not it is what it is and I'll be back on the bank soon here we are back in the car it's now the end of the session and um, yeah it was a big fat blank for me uh, my dad managed to catch two carp and lost one so it was definitely his time to shine um, in regards to myself it just didn't happen on this occasion um, on reflection I don't really know what else I could have done I moved swim um, I tried zigs um, I used methods I've already caught carp on at that venue I even fish spots where I've caught carp from before um, and still nothing happened so yeah I don't think I could have done any more and yeah I'm just putting it down that it wasn't my time and it was my dad's time on this occasion um, but yeah I'm not down about it really grateful for being out on the bank really grateful for being able to spend time with my dad um, and that's what it's all about that you got to look at the bigger picture there's some people who can't even go fishing they can't afford to go fishing they can't physically go fishing you know you've got to be grateful and I am grateful but I'm still going to be back with a vengeance there is another session planned in around four to five days um, and that's going to be a 48 hour session on a very well known water with a lot of 20 pound plus fish so thank you for watching carp gurus stay tuned for that next session and remember like share and subscribe because there is a lot more to come a lot more big fish are going to be on your screens very soon and I'm thoroughly enjoying um, providing this footage to my loyal subscribers. Boom. Carp good.